This is the Fire Moth, the previous era humans united front against the Honkai. These people brought victory over Hersher after Hersher until they didn't and get destroyed along with the civilization. So I've been thinking about all the factors that contributed to their downfall and in that, I discovered something that may help us discover the true nature of the Honkai. Today, I want to talk to you about a fundamental aspect of Fire Moth that I think left them doomed, and why this is so important to the current storyline. To explain this, I need to first talk about the purpose of Hershers. The definition given on Hershers when they first appeared is that they were a new type of Honkai that were created to destroy humans. From the surface, it seems reasonable, but here's where this might change. You see, Hershers are different from other Honkai entities in that Hershers are converted from a live human, unlike say a Honkai beast that are just created out of thin air. With Honkai beasts or zombies, they are mindless beings that only wants to destroy, with nothing else. Hershers on the other hand, have a mind of their own, able to monologue on how much they hate and want to destroy humanity and all those stuffs. But in some circumstances, Hershers may become disinterested in doing so. Examples like Rin initially, Kiana, and Mei. But why does this happen? Well, think of it this way. Imagine you want to do something, like say, water your plants, which is more efficient. Have a person water them by hand when the person may slack off and just do anything he or she desires or have a mindless machine that will continue doing what you tell it to do as long as it got the juices for it. I think you see where this is going. If the Honkai create Hershers to destroy humanity like what people say they do, then why allow Hershers to disobey and just do whatever they want? Does the Honkai really not foresee that their creation may not just do what it's supposed to do? Are the Honkai just stupid? I'm gonna assume that the Honkai is not stupid and the fact that Hershers have a mind of their own was a deliberate choice. What this could mean is that there are other motives behind why Hershers are not just mindless beings that only wants to destroy humans. So how does this tie into why Fire Morph was doomed to fail? To understand this, let's look at how they treated Hershers in their era. When a Hershey appear, they seem to immediately attempt to kill it right away, always. An exception to this was the initially harmless previous era Hershey of corruption, Rin, which they chose to imprison instead. Still, it's safe to say that Hershey's were not treated well by anyone, understandably so. But this also goes for normal humans, whose suffering are so often justified in the name of humanity. When we look at all the Hershers' backstory we know about, it always seems to start from them being treated poorly before deciding that they want to destroy everything. Rin was isolated making her feel discontent and afraid. This feeling ultimately became hate which was released upon her death. So when Fire Moth treat people and by extension Hershers like crap, they are indirectly digging themselves a deeper hole that will be increasingly hard to get out of. In fact, with the right circumstances, Hershers may just decide not to be a threat to anyone, or at least believe they aren't. Fire Moth was always so focused on overpowering the Honkai, doing so by committing various questionable actions looking at you Mobius, whether it be forcing people into test subjects or genetically modifying humans to be able to use Honkai powers. They had the prime opportunity to figure things out in the case of Rin, the 12th Hersher, but instead of reassuring her or providing her with the support she needs to figure this out, instead they treat her like some kind of environmental hazard and imprison her. And look how that ended up. So basically, Fire Moth needs to embrace the power of friendship. Jokes aside, at the end of the day, some could say that humans plays a bigger part in their own downfall than any other external factors. The true goal of the Honkai may not be to only destroy humanity, but to instead act as a trial for humans to get past, or any civilization really. Remember the Sky People, those aliens we found in post Honkai Odyssey. Those guys were supposedly able to trump over the Honkai and use it to satisfy their species. That's why they invaded Earth in the first place to gather more Honkai energies to satisfy their goals. Humans could find ways to make use of Honkai powers like they do with nuclear powers. They could either use it to create ever more destructive things that may or may not come back and bite them in the ass down the line, or alternatively, use it to make better lives for everybody. Perhaps this may be what some people realize, but that's a topic for another video. This is all I have for today, so what are your definitions for the Honkai? Let me know down below in the comments. Anyways, thanks for watching to the end, and I'll see you next time.